Take two. Hi everybody! Today I decided to do a Q&A so I asked some of you to send me your questions. Um, before we get started, I just want to say I'm filming in front of my closet because I have been having quite the trouble with the lighting. It's so gloomy outside and um, whenever I try to do a custom white balance, the picture just looks green or if I do the auto white auto white balance is that what it's called it's just yellow so anyways I'm sitting in front of my closet so hopefully the um, lighting is okay let's go ahead and get started guys that use male grooming products I mean I think they're great you know whatever makes you happy if it makes you happy you look nice or you know you look put together that's great I like that if you prefer the caveman look, the little rough around the edges, I guess, um, that's fine too, you know? Whatever works for you, do what makes you happy. The album that I could listen to over and over again is no surprise, it's One Direction. Um, I have their Midnight Memories and Four album. And, you know, when I used to work um, in my old job, I listen to their, to their album 8 hours a day, 5 days a week. <laughs> um, yeah, so you know, it's something that I would listen to if I want to pick me up. And you know, if I'm just feeling kind of like, I want to listen to good music. So I would put on One Direction and my favorite song right now is No Control. If you haven't heard it, I will leave a link of someone's video below of No Control. So check that out. My dream job is to be doing exactly this, filming videos on YouTube and, you know, just kind of having fun with it. Um, I originally wanted to be an actor, if you didn't know that. I minored in theater when I was in college. Um, and, you know, I really did enjoy, you know, going up on stage, performing in front of a lot of people, which is a little bit ironic because I'm actually very shy and I just... I don't like being in a crowd, but if I'm on stage, there, it's kind of different. I don't know, because maybe because I'm not myself, I'm being someone else, but I found that it's just not working out for me. Um, you know, even, even when I was acting on camera, it just wasn't working for me. So I took a break and then I started watching YouTube videos and I'm like, you know, I could give that a try. So I did. And I am very happy that I'm still here after a year. I love that I could be in control of everything. I could be in control of the way my camera works and um, the way I edit the videos when it goes up, what content I put up. So that's really nice. So I really hope that this could turn into something full time one day. If I could live anywhere in the world, I think that I would live in England. I want to live in England. Um, it just seems like their way of living is just, you know, very nice and fulfilling. Um, you know, I, I don't know if this is true, but the way I see the United States is that people work and work and work all the time. And it doesn't seem like they have the time to enjoy the things that they're earning. Um, or that they're working for so but I don't know like in England people just seem to just go on holidays whenever they feel like it or you know they seem like they're enjoying life so I want to experience the same thing I moved to the US because well my mom brought us here me and my brother um, she wanted a good life for us and I guess you know living in the Philippines wasn't good enough you know we we weren't living in poverty but you, I don't know it's just there wasn't much opportunity for us to um, grow or just to be successful I guess I don't I don't really know what she was thinking but you know I'm glad to be here I'm glad that I'm able to even do things like this or you know to be living on my own and things like that so yeah I mean, I'm happy, but I'm ready to move to the UK. Do I like sushi? 
Oh my gosh, I can eat sushi at least once a week. I just love sushi. Um, my favorite is um, a dragon roll. That's like my go-to. But I will tell you, I will not order the same thing when I go to sushi places, except maybe for a crunch roll because it's cheaper and I like the crunch flakes. Um, but I like to try new things and you know, no one sushi place is the same. So I always try to, um, you know, get the new stuff that I've never tried before or um, maybe try one that I've already tried in a different place, but you know, some people make it differently. So I love sushi. I am a complete homebody. I do not like parties at all. I don't like the crowd. I don't like party animals. I don't like the music that's too loud. I don't like the drinking. What else happens in parties? I don't like the dancing. Dancing really makes me anxious. Um, yeah, so I, I mean, I don't mind being at home all the time, which it, it's probably not a good idea because of my anxiety, but um, you know, sometimes if I want to get out I just go to Target and go shopping um, not good for my wallet but good for my sanity um, other than that I'm always just you know on my computer or reading a book watching TV and being a couch potato um, what else do I do yeah <laughs> I don't know um, of course sometimes I go out with my friends but I just I don't like parties even if it's like holiday gatherings or things like that that makes me nervous because there's always people there that I don't know or even people that I do know it's still awkward because it's not like I talk to them like a best friend I don't talk to them every single day and so I'm not very good with small talk and so it's really difficult for me to come up to someone and be like hey how are you how's it going how's been life or how's life been <laughs> um, and that's just really uncomfortable for me so I just usually stay at home. Pizza all the way. Oh my gosh. I could eat pizza once a week just like sushi. Um, burgers, I eat very rarely. I mean, I really try not to eat red meat as much. So, I mean, the time when I would eat red meat would be hot dogs, sometimes burgers, and very, very, very rarely steak that is completely well done. I do not like any pink in my steak. Um, I know that's not how you're supposed to eat it, but I like it completely cooked. And yeah, so definitely pizza. So if you are in Southern California, specifically in San Diego area, um, there is a place called Pyology and they make pizzas right in front of you. It's kind of like Subway as someone else had put it. And oh my gosh, they have the best pesto sauce I've ever tried besides my friend's pesto sauce and you know I actually would prefer that over a red sauce or um, I've actually never tried a white sauce before but you know if you are able to go and you know it doesn't have to be pyology just go to a place where you can customize your pizza and if they have pesto try that it's so good um, as far as cheese, if I'm making my own, I want premium cheese. Smoked Gouda, smoked Gruyere. Um, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the cheese that I like. I mean, I'm all for the typical mozzarella cheese, but I'm customizing it. I might as well do what I like, right? Um, as far as topping goes, I don't mind going vegetarian with, um, what is it, red or green peppers, um, tomatoes. I think tomato is a fruit. Um, anyways, <laughs> what else do I put in there? Maybe some basil. Um, if I'm feeling extra risky, <laughs> I maybe put some chilies in there. Um, I can't always eat spicy, but I'm rambling. So yeah, anyways, this is the end of this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye. It doesn't sting my eyes or anything. And I just saw in here that it says shake well. I never shake it. Okay. <laughs>